All right, so a lot of people say, how do I really have skin in the game for my business? Maybe I'm trying to get creative when I'm looking for an investor and they're asking me, do you have skin in the game? Well, here's a couple of strategies that you can understand on a day-to-day -day basis on ways that you actually have skin in the game. All right, so we've talked in the past about taking an inventory of your life. Now what I want you to do is take an inventory of your expenses, both personal and business. And what I want you to do is really just document over the last 30 to 60, 90 days and really understand where your money is. And so do this both for your business and both for your personal. All you have to do is maybe download um, a spreadsheet or get on Google and do a spreadsheet and kind of write down all the numbers, or it can be pen and paper, that doesn't matter. Uh, all that matters is that you actually do it. And then what I want you to do is realize of these things, what do I actually need and what do I actually use? What I think a lot of people find is that they're actually paying for something on a monthly subscription basis and they actually don't need it or they actually didn't realize that they kept paying it. We had uh, Nate Scholl yesterday say, man, I didn't realize how much I was actually spending on things like food or services that I actually don't use. So what you can do is look at these things both from a personal and business perspective and say, wow, I actually don't need those things or I'm eating out every day, I don't need to do that. I can cancel my Netflix account. I can cancel um, uh, some of these other premium services that I don't actually need so that I can take that money and invest it back into my business so that I have cash on hand to grow that. Another interesting thing is what are you driving? Are you driving a premium car? And is that something that you could be getting three to $700 more a month on if you weren't driving that premium car? That, think about it right there, that is a hundred five dollar Facebook ads that you could be getting if you got rid of your car that you really don't need and that you could be investing into the future. Look, I understand it's a little crazy to do something like that, but are you spending your money wisely? Because if you spend it wisely today, you're more likely to spend it wisely when you're actually growing. Okay, call your credit card companies and make sure that you are at the lowest APR possible. Oftentimes they will reduce that rate uh, even just a little bit. That 1% can change it a lot. Negotiate all of your terms with businesses, whether it's your rent, your cable, whatever, negotiate it. Every 10 to $20 adds up over a year. If you do that five times, times, you know, 10 different services, you're saving thousands of dollars. And one thing that I really like to do is I like to maneuver my dates around. Now, likely you have all of your bills on the first and 15th of every month. Instead, try and break it up so that your personal is maybe the first and 15th of every month, but then maybe your business expenses are on the seventh and then the 21st or 22nd of every month. Why? Because you're constantly being able to maneuver your money and have more cash on hand instead of trying to have everything forced on the 1st and the 15th of the month. If you don't ask, you will not get. So take your personal account and try and make sure that everything is evenly breaking, broken through on the 1st and the 15th and your business stuff, try and have on the 17th and the 22nd of every month. That way it's more of a cycle and you have more cash on hand. So if you want more skin in the game, take your inventory, understand what you're spending each and every month. Um, and then from your personal side and your business side so that Hopefully, you can understand that you are spending money that you didn't have to so that you can reinvest that money back into the business. Cancel subscri subscriptions that you don't need and negotiate your terms and really try and maneuver the way that your cash is being sent out by using it on the 1st, the 7th, the 15th, and the 22nd so that you can cycle the funds that you have in a more manageable way. That's it. What are you doing to manage your money currently? Comment below. So that's it. Boom.